Namaste students, I am Jamin Dr. Aziz Mahmud Khan from Department of Food and Biotechnology, Faculty of Agriculture and Veterinary Science, Jyoti Vidyapit, Women's University, Jaipur. Today, I am going to discuss about uh, the topic gaze chromatography and mass spectroscopy, which is a type of the gaze chromatography method. So, in previous video, I discussed about some chromatography techniques such as the um, paper chromatography, thin layer chromatography, side screen chromatography, hybrid chromatography, column chromatography. So these techniques were discussed in previous videos and this is the final, which is the gaze chromatography. So uh, the two important thing in each chromatography is the stationary phase and the mobile phase. Stationary phase is the phase on which our sample is loaded, and the mobile phase is the phase uh, which carries our uh, sample towards the detector so that it can be detected. So, what is the gaze chromatography and its basic? And the gaze chromatography is a technique which is very you know, scientific technique, and uh, it is utilized as instrument which is. A gas chromatography uh, instrument, and uh, this technique is used to detect the compounds which are present, the proteins, the amino acids, whatever the compounds which are present in the sample, and it will detect according to their uh, retention factor. So different uh, molecules can be found in a single sample and uh, their sample analysis is conducted on different solvents also. So first, uh, the sample must be prepared for the detection. Uh, for example, if we want to prepare a sample of the uh, some plant extract, then we need to prepare the sample in some particular solvent so that it can be prepared. So first, uh, the sample is prepared and then it will load it on the gas chromatography chamber so that it can be separated. And after separation, we will get different varieties of the compounds. Uh, various compounds were detected on the basis of the a uh, detector, which is connected to a library, which is known as the GCM, GC library. So this is all, all about the gas chromatography. So what are the basic of the gas chromatography? In gas chromatography, the stationary phase is a, it is a volatile uh, liquid and uh, we apply it in a chamber also. That is the stationary phase. What is the mobile phase? The mobile phase which is used in the gas chromatography is a gas. So gas is a carrier in the gas chromatography system. It carries the gas. And uh, the sample is also carried by gas which will allow it to pass. So the gases which are used in the gas chromatography engine there are some gases, inert gases like helium, organ. Okay, so these are the gases. And uh, what are the characteristics of uh, separation by gas chromatography technique? And the particles are separated in the gas chromatography on the basis of their uh, vol vol volatility and polarity, how they are polar and volatility. So, volatile and polar compounds are the two things which are separated. The first thing we talk about the volatile, some compounds which when get contact in the gas, and when the high temperature is applied, then the compound will get evaporated. They will be volatile. 
okay they will get converted into the gas and they will be volatile when they will get volatile the volatile activity will be detected in your detector how much time it take it to to convert into the gas suppose that there is a tube okay there is a tube in which we are applying a high temperature okay we are applying a high temperature and we insert a liquid molecule so the liquid will pass through this tube and a temperature is being applied the liquid which is present inside the tube will take the time to get evaporated after some time it will get evaporated it will be volatile so it will get evaporated okay so it may be possible that uh, the compounds which are present inside this uh, compound the compounds which are present in a single uh, sample are different for example there are 20 compounds so in those 20 compounds these 20 compounds will take different time different time to get evaporated for example one compound which is present in the sample will get evaporated in uh, one minute okay suppose that it will get evaporated in one minute okay uh, the temperature we, which we are going to apply in this uh, may, be, may vary for example it may vary from 100 degree centigrade to 300 degree centigrade so it is very high temperature so when we are applying a high temperature then each compound which is present in the sample will take different times to get evaporated so suppose the first compound will take uh, take uh, one minute to get evaporated so we, uh, the detector will measure that detector will detect that this compound has taken one minute to get evaporated okay the next compound compound number two will take two minutes so the detector will detect that it has taken two minutes third compound which detect and which will detect that it has taken uh, three minutes uh, similarly if the compound number two will take 20 minutes to get you updated so the detector will detect that it has taken 20 minutes okay it has taken 20 minutes so this uh, will lead this will lead to the detector to uh, detect how much time they have detected and the time that it takes to convert it into the gas is directly related to the molecular weight of the compound the low molecular weight compounds will take less time and high molecular weight compounds will take last time suppose the low molecular compound is taking only two minutes so the retention time of retention time of uh, low molecular time is two minutes and the retention time of the large molecular weight compound is 20 minutes so the detection in the case uh, photography is based on the retention time how much time it is taking to get converted into the gas and the retention time is the time in which the compound is retained inside the chamber retained inside the tube okay so that is the retention time means if it is inside the tube then it to 20 it suppose it is uh, inside the tube for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes it will get evaporated so its retention time is 20 minutes okay it means the compound was present inside the tube for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes it will get converted inside into the uh, gas so it was present for 20 minutes so its retention time was 20 minutes okay so retention time is the time is in which the compound take compound is present in the tube before conversion into the uh, 
matrix. So the compound are separated. The another thing which is in a gas system, gas chromatography system is the mass spectroscopy. The mass spectroscopy is directly related to the molecular weight of the compound and also it is connected to the library of the GC system, which is known as the GC library. So the compounds have different polarity and different polarity compounds will take different times for separation. And they also have an important role. The polar compounds will get evaporated with their uh, volatility. So volatility, volatility have important role in uh, volatility. So the important thing which is also added with the gas compound with the mass spectroscopy, uh, the compound which is get converted into, into the gas have a particular molecular weight and the molecular weight which is retained by a single type of compound will be detected by spectrophotometer which is known as the mass spectroscopy technology which will detect the mass present on the single type of compounds and a detector will detect what is the molecular weight of the compound. So two formulas are there, two phenomena are there. First one is molecular weight and the second thing is retention time. So that detection is conducted by retention time the molecular weight of the compound. Two phenomena are there. So this is the mechanism. The mechanism includes the separation due to the equilibrium established between the solutes and the stationary phase. Okay, so it is a very quick technique and a very uh, very scientific technique, very well developed technique, which is uh, which applies the gas as a carrier as a mobile phase and. Uh, the detection of uh, gas chromatography is very fast. Okay, it is very fast, but it is sensitive to some specific things. Which it is special is it is sensitive for the work which we being conducted and the individual who is performing this experiment. So it is very important. It is high quality product obtained by gas chromatography. The product accuracy is very high in the gas chromatography. And the resolution which we observe after the detection is very clear. Very high resolution is observed. So what are the disadvantages of the gas chromatography? It is applied to only volatile compounds, not for the other compounds. It is performed at the high temperature so the thermally liable compounds cannot be analyzed. Only thermal stable compounds are analyzed to not for the thermal liable, thermal liable compounds. They are not possible to be detected by the gas photography. The detectors used are very destructive in gas photography. So these are the disadvantages. Some thing which we I want to discuss here: uh, retention time, retention time, the time which is taken by the compounds to be detected, how much time it takes to be detected, and how much time it was present inside the tube. So the gas chromatography is dependent on the nature of the stationary phase. Okay, it is dependent on the nature of the stationary phase. It is dependent on the solubility of the gas in the solid phase okay. the solid gas is soluble or not and uh, how much the length of a column so if the column is long, large, longer then it will take longer time it will have larger retention Similarly, the most important thing is temperature of the column. Okay, if the column temperature is 
in high end building lesser time for the compounds to be separated the compound at the temperature is uh, lower than it will take a larger time longer time similarly the flow rate of the mobile gas is also important what is the speed of the gas uh, to carry out carry the gas inside how much time the gas carries how much time the gas takes to carry the sample so these all are the important things so i must share the screen here so this is the diagram of the gas chromatography first what happens actually first there is a sample injector okay this is a sample injector first the sample is injected inside it and uh, this is the flow con uh, controller from which the carrier gas is released okay so when the sample is injected and the gas will, will be released so this gas will come in contact with the sample and it will carry the gas to this column so this is a column this gas will carry this sample towards the detector okay so uh, there is a particular temperature of this oven so the column which is present in which our sample is loaded which will be carried out by the gas so this column is present inside a thermostatic oven which have a particular temperature up to 300 degrees centigrade so when it will when the gas will carry this uh, sample so due to this high temperature the sample will get converted inside to inside the column towards the gas phase and it how much time it take to convert it into the gas is detected by this detector okay this detector so this detector will detect how much time it took to get converted into the gas and how much time it was present into the column so it will detect it and the after that when it has been detected that it has taken this uh, uh, two minutes four minutes five minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes after that to get converted into the signals and a chromatogram gas chromatogram will be prepared which is directly related to the uh, retention time and the mass value of the particular compound the compound which will be get detected will be now discarded okay it will be now be discarded because there is a need to clean the gas chromatography chambers properly so it is a experiment based method So I hope that the students have better understood all the terms which are related to the gas chromatography. I hope there is no not any kind of confusion or understand about the gas chromatography, and the students have learned about the station phase, mobile phase, uh, uh, mechanism of. Uh, the gas chromatography, what are the advantages of the gas chromatography and the disadvantages of the uh, gas chromatography, how, what are the use of the gas chromatography and how the product, how the sample is analyzed by the gas chromatography. So I hope you will, you will answer all the questions which are related to the gas chromatography, which include the explain gas chromatography and explain the mechanism by which they, by which the samples are detected in the gas chromatography, explain principle and process of the gas chromatography. So I hope all students will better answer all these questions. So some simple terms which can also be asked that uh, what are the what is the retention time 
what is the mass spectroscopy value of the gas cooled coffee and what are the factors which affect which affect the separation of the gas cooled coffee so you will all able to answer all these questions and see this video carefully so i hope it is very beneficial for you my lecture is over. Uh,